welcome aboard. We've got another another episode of let's call it Bingo is Live. Yay! Thank you, thank you. Uh, this thank evening you. we had such a good time. Uh, doing an episode of our own songs that we've decided that we deserve. We we deserve a sequel. We so. decided that. <laughs> we decided that. We earned it. We earned it. We yeah. So it. Yeah. Uh, you the, earned the, it, listener. All that, all that soup kitchen work has truly paid off. <laughs> so I have uh, with, with us this evening. We have uh, Chris Adeshell. Hello. We have Dan Easley. Hi there. We have myself, Mike Adeshell. We again in this uh, scenario do not have Jay or or, oh, or Mum Shackle. Oh, we so miss you already. We miss you there wherever you are. And that sort of. W- one of the reasons we're doing this, and that's right why now. we're doing <laughs> it this way. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So no, I, I I really enjoyed doing that, that that last episode with the sharing some songs. That was fun. Again, yeah. complete vanity. That's fine. Uh, we'll make it work. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna start with uh, one of Dan's songs, right? Yeah, yeah. We had uh, in that in that last go round, uh, 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 Chris noted like uh, is. Uh, well, gosh, I think I think uh, actually Frank Zappa had a had an album called "Does Humor Belong in Music," <laughs> and uh, and Chris brought that up, and I've I've got a track that uh, that I actually wasn't afraid to to let loose, and I didn't take myself uh, overly seriously when I when I that made is this always track. a trap, isn't it? Uh, like because always, whenever you create yeah. anything, you're like. Am I taking myself too seriously? Well, yes, or not seriously almost, enough? almost always. I am taking myself too yeah, seriously yeah. to everyone's detriment. I think so, <laughs> I go. I go to the yeah. opposite opposite spectrum. I I do not take myself seriously. Well, Probably not that's, seriously. That's enough, a gift. I think. I think. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, a gift and a curse. Yeah, yeah. A double edged sword, if right, you will. Right. Um, or even if you won't. Uh, such is the nature of swords. Uh, <laughs> so what are we? What are we listening it's, to? Dan? It's, a, it's on an album I made in 2018 called Historic Shoreline Motor Hotel. Sweet. Uh, and that came from actually sort of uh, I, there was a bit of a of an island, sort of a, a coast. So it's a short, it's a shorter song. So I feel a little better uh, being a little chatty. About oh, sure, it absolutely. In the intro, um, there there was some sort of sort of shoreline. I think I I been to florida or something and i and i hadn't I, I didn't go to the ocean as a kid so i was really sort of inspired by by that and was really sort of digging it does, sounds nothing like jimmy buffett but I, <laughs> <laughs> in the slightest but i was i was digging listening to some jimmy buffett and some mm. marimbas you know oh, and that sure, sort of yeah, thing right. brought to you by uh, jimmy buffett <laughs> okay. and margaritas so, and jackal so i knew i knew i wanted a cover i knew i wanted a, okay. an album a, a photo for the cover that was sort of ocean related or shoreline related or boardwalk related and i found a, a public domain photograph uh of a of an historic shoreline motor hotel okay and i thought oh great i'll name the album after the photograph i found to put on okay. the, the cover right. of the album and this is all within a sort of dadaistic uh <laughs> tradition sure. yeah, right. uh if if you want to bring it back to me taking myself too seriously for just a second <laughs> so, so, can never quite get out of that uh, uh, he was close <laughs> I, was, almost, I was man. being almost. self-reflective but yeah. <laughs> couldn't find the uh, mirror so so this tune <laughs> this tune is called my nuclear car nice <laughs> the wheels don't roll in a row. The mm-hmm. crack shaft's cold. Oh, no. The battery is dead. It's messing with my head. So, those are my troubles, but here's a description of the car. <laughs> My nuclear car it comes with some games like billiards and bowling oh, to keep okay. good times rolling. Yeah. It flies through the air. Sense. It flies through the air. It swims down the stair. Yeah, it all makes sense when you really think about it. Mm. This has got uh, it, it's it's got like a little ween feel to it. Mm. Um, 
But also it reminds me of uh, Talking Heads. Um, oh, yeah. I'm also hearing the... Uh, oh, what is it? Lennon's tune on the... The... You know my name? Look, uh, up, look, up, look, up. look up to me in a minute. I, I just want to note that I had not begun taking guitar lessons before. <laughs> <laughs> it's not not Mike Lee's fault. <laughs> I really hear the Jimmy Buffett influence. Oh, yeah, 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 back, uh, For the benefit of Mr. Kite is what I'm thinking of. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Certainly a huge influence on me. <laughs> I do love a good la 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 la. Yeah, yeah. Well, who doesn't? Yeah. No, oh, it's non-stop in the back. <laughs> oh, trouble. <laughs> there it is. Yep. That is so damn easy. <laughs> Yes, yeah, that's, that's yeah, right. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Thanks beautiful. very much. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. So, um, the what, what is the? Uh, do, 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 do. It's got a little drop in it. It's weird. Is it a? Do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah. It's. I mean, it's that sort of 1980s roto tom. Oh, sound, okay. Gotcha. You know. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, it's 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 that mm-hmm. electronic drum sound that, uh, that yes, was yeah. all over uh, 1984. Four through yeah, 1980. Right. Magnum Nine P. Or I, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, you're thinking Miami Vice. No, I was there. Yeah, 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 I was there. Yeah. But it has. They, aren't those drums in the beginning of that? They're, they're in every sure, song yeah, yeah, from, sure, from yeah. the middle of that decade. Yeah. That, and didn't they take the, the snare sound in the 80s and just widen it out but kill it on the edges. Yeah, what they that huge what they did. Sound. Uh Peter Gabriel was working on uh, ah, here we Peter go. Gabriel, he, what? Was, he was working on uh uh I don't know, his third or fourth album I think. Uh, Hugh Padham had, was producing it who had produced uh uh some of the last of the Police albums. Uh and Gabriel, you know, he had these these notions about drums. He didn't want any cymbals on the album at all cuz it got in the way of the vocals. Mm. Uh I didn't I didn't and uh anything. Let's see. Well, somebody was playing drums, and Gabriel was in the control room, and he heard the drums coming through some headphones that were just sitting on on the on the table, um, yeah, a few feet away from him. And he, and he asked the engineer, "How do I, how do we get the drums to sound like they sound through those headphones sitting a few feet away from me?" Uh, and what they did was they added a bunch of uh, a bunch of reverb mm-hmm. uh, to make it all cavernous. Um, right. But then they used something called a gate. Which yes. which yeah, that's exactly listens right. for the volume level of the sound, and when the volume drops below a certain level, it just cuts it that's out it. completely. Yeah, mm. and it's oft, it's most often used to get rid of of, of background noise. Mm-hmm. Um, but in this case, it yeah, it's got this big cavernous sound um, with all this reverb, but but then it drops it off at some dies. moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it sounds huge. But it doesn't really get in the way. There's still room for other sounds, right, right. or for more of the same, really. Mm. Um, and they so fell in love with it. In the they 80s. fell in love with it, and Phil Collins used the heck out of it, and then everybody used the heck out of it. Right. Uh, but cool. it came from that moment. Cool. Well, thank you for sharing that song. That's yeah, right awesome. On. I don't know who's going to do the next song. Oh, it's going to be me. <laughs> ah. uh, apparently, I'm the one that's going next. It's good. Smooth. So, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> this song is come, comes from uh, uh, a band that has gone through just as many drummers as uh, Spinal Tap. Spinal Tap, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Trouble in the Trailer Park. And uh, I think this is the only... We, 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 we started on a second album that got lost somewhere, but this is the one and only Trouble in the Trailer Park album. And uh, the song is called Cozy Roses. It has an odd intro where we're just fooling around, but we eventually start actually playing the song. So Sweet. There you go. All right, here, here we go. Give Cozy Roses, Trouble in the Trailer Park. Of course, Doug. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was yeah. good. Self-aggrandizing again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Give me that chord. Dr- drama. We gotta have drama. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh-huh. Fill you 
Kelly. That's Kelly on the drum. And that is uh, uh, your, your, my drum teacher. Your drum teacher. Yeah. Come and taste a sip from my cup. We'll be cozy, cozy. We'll be cozy, cozy. One, no, two, we try to double up the vocals there. Did, you, know, did, you, uh, did you come up with the riff, or did uh, or did Doug come up? I with did it? come up with the riff. Yeah, ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. And, but but Doug is the one that executes it. I, yeah, I, you know, you're like, do that. And he's like, you mean like like this? Boom. What's it mean to be cozy roses? That's a great question. And then uh, <laughs> no one's ever going to know. <laughs> then we switch it to 3-4 time here, I believe. Yeah, yep. one, two, three. Oh, wow, yeah. It's okay. She's a drum teacher. She can handle it. She really can. Yeah. yeah. We sell it every day. You sell it every yeah. day? Every day. Uh, some religious Pass overtones the here. Pass the plate. Yeah. yeah. He did a fantastic job with that riff. Nice scream, everybody. Oh, thank you, thank you. I like to get a good scream in there every oh, yeah. once in a while, when you, when you can. Yeah. <laughs> It kind of reminds, it reminds me of a cartoon. Like, <laughs> the Wilhelm scream, I believe. Is oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, it's good. It's better than that. Again, a lot of 90s kid influence there. Sure. Where'd you record this at? Uh, so uh, it was. Yeah, that was cool. It was in a farmhouse in Dayton, with um, oh gosh, what were they called? Uh, they they were they did a little studio there uh, downtown, right across from the Coffee Hound, where that is. Uh, oh, of course, you'd ask me, and I don't know. Um, I'll put it in the notes later. Uh, <laughs> Very good. But we started, they, they used to, before they set up a studio, they, they just had their equipment in a farmhouse in Dayton, and we went out there and uh, spent, uh, I think it was like two two or three days. Oh, okay. is it that uh, something hotel? Yes. Yeah. That's it. Those guys. Yeah, those guys. Um, what was the name of their band? Oh, they were mm, good. But they, Appal- uh, Hotel Appalachia was the name App- of the studio. Or yes, was the name of the studio, right? Yeah. Oh, I remember hearing about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they, they were, seemed cool. They were very nice. We yeah. were, we we recorded. Oh, they, yeah, they were there. super good guys. And, yeah, and and super fun to record with. I think that well, I think that was the cool thing is they had a space. Yeah, it was like, right. hey, here's a space, and play some music. Well, you know what I really I, I really um, appreciated with those guys is they were they were trying to build a like a community of musicians yeah. who wanted yep. to create. Yeah, and I thought that was cool. Yeah, um, I don't know how long they're in business. They're not anymore, I guess. But uh, yeah, it was it was a great scene and a good time to be Michael, creating. Michael Stover. Yep. But I'm trying. Uh, the the guy who did the recording, he's the sound guy for Illiterate Light now. Is that right? Oh, cool. That's, that's what he. That, wow. you know, he's very. He travels cool. with them. Oh, yeah. well, he he did. I don't know if he still does, but right. I think so. No. Cool. Yeah, very good. All right, hey, well, we're going to share another song. Let's great. see. Yeah. Who's it going to be? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was the noise I was making. Is that what the noise? I think so. Yeah, weird noise. All right, so <laughs> I'm excited because this song is uh, it's it's one I wrote, but this does feature my son on the drums. Nice. So we recorded this in Stanton. Uh, it's going to have... Uh, at Echo. At, uh, yeah, Echo. Echo Hollow. Echo Hollow uh, with Matt Bailey. And uh, his, I can't think of the other guy's name, but he was mm. great. Uh, and then we, um, Waverly, 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's thank it. you. Wavely. Wavely. Yeah. yeah. Super nice dudes. Man, great space. Yeah, right on. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Carl Brooks of the Vindels plays the bass. Cool. Uh, Christian Parrott is playing the electric guitar. I'm playing the other electric guitar. And Mike is, you do uh, some vocals on this. Backing one. vocals. Mm. But other than that, backing vocal, this is all live. Oh, right. Yeah. So, hmm. anyways, uh, I uh, love um, Alan Watts. I love listening. Oh, wow. I love listening to his. Uh, he gives these great lectures. They've all were recorded. Doesn't he have a soothing voice? Oh, man. They're, <laughs> he wrote, and he's funny. Yeah. He's, he's oh, yeah. actually hilarious. In, in the depths of my depression, which was only uh, fixable via medication, uh, but, you know, you try and read all these great books and figure out, you know, what's wrong with me. <laughs> and uh, the only only book I ever read that was helpful at, in any way at all was one by Alan Watts. And it was yes. called The Book. The uh, Book. With the yeah. parenthetical title, The Taboo Against Knowing Who We Really Are. Yeah. And just just a lovely, lovely thing. So sorry cool. for the aside, but man, no, no, Alan no. Watts. No, man, huge. Uh, no, no, I'm, uh, I'm I'm a huge. It's so weird he died of alcoholism. Mm. Oh, did he? Yeah. No. <laughs> it, is, it, is such a, it is such a strange. Oh, if gosh. he would have just read his own book. <laughs> yeah, um, really. <laughs> but I, I say that because it's actually kind of perfect because it's all gray. There's just no. Yeah, there yeah. just is no. I, there's no black and white people. Mm -hmm. So anyways, this song is uh, inspired by uh, listening to one of his speeches. The lyrics are. And then it's also, um, the, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's, I think I finally, I normally write, I have a hard time writing bridges. Uh, and so mm -hmm. I finally wrote a bridge that. Uh, that that is a winner and my, that that works for me. So pretty happy. Anyways, the song is called "The River," and it's by uh, uh, the Basement Rebellion. That's Christian playing the Jaguar right there. Right, it's too good. They really had those drums down there. Awesome. They did. Yeah. You know, it's one well, and Oliver sounds great. Oh, oh he's, he's, he's yeah. such a good drummer. Yeah. He had such a good uh, so, oh, so proud. Yeah. It kind of like, yeah. I've always, I, I, what I like is I've, I enjoy a song that's a little like uh, uh, fighting, fighting something. Oh, you know, yeah. No one's going to tell me what I need. Yeah. You know? I, I love that about some of those. I don't know. There's something that yeah. makes me happy. Yeah. <laughs> and, and what's the, the, the uh, dinner, you're eating the menu line? Uh, I don't, I'd have to think about it. I know, right? <laughs> Something about you're gonna miss out on dinner if yeah. you're just eating the menu. Yeah, basically. It's cool. Yeah, that's right. That's right. No one told me nothing. <laughs> Oh, here's my bridge. Yeah. Ah, the Yay. bridge. I'm not sure I can control my own mind. So quiet. I'm not sure. I really think you can hear Christian having fun I can control in this song, and that's what's cool. Right there. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I just, I just like uh, it rhymed quiet and try it. Try it. Yeah. Try it. I wake up and I find I'm blessed. And I the original lyric anyone. for that was, I, I wake up and find out that I'm God. Oh, wow. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what Alan Watts said. You are God. You are God. That's, that's yeah. his whole thing. Is you, you, 
You are God. But what do you rhyme with God? Cod? It's what I have to do. What am I going to do with all this new information? You know I'm part of the cosmic team. I'm no longer standing in the river. Man, I'm floating with the stream. That's right. But I do, I do, I was and, uh, super well, pumped. Oliver, was... Oliver even sl- does the great slowdown there, too. Like, you know, yeah, yeah. no, nah, he's oh, natural, natural, yeah. No, it's it's so sweet. Well, I'm, I'm super lucky, so it's not like. It's not like that just happened, okay? So right, we, do, right. we did spend right months playing that song together, me and him, in my bass. So one of the cool things about um, playing music with your son, uh, he's not old enough to drive away from the house. <laughs> so he comes home from school and he stays in. He's like, well, let's go play music. I say, yep. And then we usually have like this, you know, I get home around 4.30, so we have like from 5 to 6, like every day to play music and so every day we I mean if not every day at least four days a week um, and we have so stupid fun it's fair it's fair it's well you know and I just recently gave him a microphone yeah. you know I was like All right. who knows what will happen now? I know, I know. No, that's well, good for everybody I just wish that I, I wish I knew how to sing harmony or oh. I could teach him mm. I really don't I, I, or, or find a singing team. Yeah, yeah. Get some graduate student from one of the three universities yeah. within yeah. five miles. And by the way, you can learn anything from YouTube. Too. Yeah, I know. anything. Well, even hey, how to fix that car, that fusion that runs on fusion. Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I do miss it. Uh, it can, you know. I should I should say one thing too. I I, I miss the billiards really. This song was. I'm just. It's not a direct. Uh, there is a granddaddy song that I absolutely loved called Lost on Your Merry Way, and it has a similar mm-hmm. chord progression. Mm-hmm. There's three chords in it that I used a couple times in the song, and that was an inspired. It's totally different. You would never, mm. if you hear it, you, you would go, oh, yeah, that is there, but it's a bit of a stretch. Yeah, but no, that's that, a great tune, too. Yeah, that's. if you've never heard this band called Granddaddy, I'll just give them some love right now, too. Mm. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, anyways, that's, that's the song. Cool. Well, thank yeah. you for sharing Yay. it. That's awesome. It's very cool. Yeah. And that brings us again to another evening. Oh. Of, uh, we finished it out there. Well, yeah. there so uh, hey, Music. we we do this every week. <laughs> I guess we post it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if what's how does Jay and he says something about. Catch us uh, at uh, every Tuesday night for Bingo is Life. That's right. Uh, or on the internet. That's right. Through this podcast. Mm-hmm. Anyways, thanks for Wherever joining us, everybody. You may be listening. That's right. Have a good night. Good night. Night. Bingo is Life, a post bingo Harrisonburg podcast, is brought to you by the Brothers How to Show and our friends at Ruby's Arcade in downtown Harrisonburg, Virginia. If you've enjoyed the show and feel it's worth spreading a little joy in this world, Please tell just one person that you like this podcast. Word of mouth, more than any other form of promotion, is how creative works get noticed and sustain themselves. Thank you, Andrew Hickey, for that bit of wisdom. And thank you, listeners, for being part of the fun.